Okay, here is an on 4K streaming box from Walmart. I bought this for 20 bucks. I've left this one with the retail software. So this is still running the factory retail Android TV version 10. And I have a thumb drive connected via a standard cheapy uh, OTG cable, Android on the go adapter cable. And I've done nothing. I basically just went through the, the Ubi, uh, put a dummy account in it. I mean, I did nothing to this. I just went the shortest path to get it set up, attached the OTG cable, and plugged in the thumb drive. Um, out of the box, it just supports NTFS. It's amazing. So uh, this file is 6.8 gigabytes to prove that I am not using FAT32. Uh, my reason for having these devices is to like to put them in my camp trailer and such, or in family cabin, where there's basically just want to have something completely offline, not dependent on networking or internet to play videos. Um, and now, obviously, a lot of them are greater than four gigabytes in size. All right, this is just boring, but it proves that you can indeed access large files. Neato. Okay, this is a public domain file that I got from Cody's samples page. So before some little whiner gets all butthurt about copyrighted content, this is linked from the Cody's sample page for testing. This is a public domain file. I don't want to have to deal with any more takedown notices or, you know, any more strikes against my account. So this is a standard 4K HEVC encoded file like you would have for any movie or TV broadcast. Works fine. And this is exactly my main purpose of having a box like this. Okay, so to recap, out of the box, the Walmart on 4K streaming box supports NTFS thumb drives. You don't have to do anything. It just works. I've read on some forums people having problems. I did have more weirdness on the other device. I'm currently testing two of these. Um, the one that I flashed with Lineage OS 19.1 seemed to be really picky about thumb drives. I have a buttload of thumb drives and I always test different capacities and age. Um, things to keep in mind when you're dealing with thumb drives. Not all of them are going to work on every device. Now, PCs are less sensitive, or they have been in my experience, but mobile and embedded devices tend to be hypersensitive with things like thumb drives. Uh, with these devices, some of that could be because of the power supply. They're very, very low amperage. Or people are trying to power this off of the USB port on their TV, which is very low amperage. If you use a higher amperage power supply, because these are standard USB power supply devices, maybe 1.5 or 2 amps, or if you're not going to do that or you don't have one, try a USB powered hub connected to the OTG adapter. That can help. But uh, all of the problems that I've seen on these are within the normal realm of just weirdness with devices not, not liking certain thumb drives. So if you have problems, try a different thumb drive, try a different power supply with higher amps. Uh, you, you still require juice to read the thumb drive. And older 
larger thumb drives can sometimes require a lot more power than the newer ones with the more efficient chips. Or a powered uh, USB hub. Uh, you shouldn't have any problems at all with NTFS. So, um, right now, I don't think there's a reason for people screwing around with Lineage OS. Um, I initially was concerned about not having XFAT support. I hadn't tried NTFS. But out of the box with NTFS, I can you can literally download Kodi, slap an OTG cable on it, try a few drives, and in actuality, most of the time they work. If it's a newer USB 3 or 3.1 drive, um, or if it's a hard drive, use a powered hub, you'd have to anyway. And it just works. They're perfect if you want to take, you know, a bunch of 100% legal public domain content because people would only use public domain legal content <coughs> and put that on a large hard drive for your grandpa to watch, right? So there you go.